Good morning, everyone. I think uh, I'm very happy because uh, having sat here and uh, looked at what people are saying and the attendance of the of this forum, I realized we are headed somewhere as a country. Health now is a privilege, but the constitution tells us health is a right. And somebody said uh, there is no health without people, isn't it? So I think. Uh, and looking at this electioneering period, I'm also happy because even the politicians now are talking about health, isn't you? So I want from this forum, we simplify for them, that we tell them that what we need, we need seven level, seven, level six hospitals in the country. We need a level one level four hospital in a sub-county. The nurse here said in a, in a level three hospital, you need 24 nurses, so everybody, even you, you can work and say, how many nurses are here? There are 10. They are supposed to be 20, 24. Another thing is something in a name. And the, the CHP sat here said, their problem started when they were named CHP, isn't it? I think from here, you can't be volunteers. You need to be people who work. You have a name. You are not volunteer, you remain. You are not recognized as a volunteer, isn't it? You, don't, you, don't, you are not in the organogram, if you are a volunteer, isn't it? So you need to get a proper name because so that you get recognized and then you get now your work be done. So from here, let's be this gospel. And you know, the problem with health, eh? anybody is a, you are health workers here, for example, but you can turn to be a consumer anytime, even from here now, isn't it? So, the emergency services we need to talk about. Lastly, let me give you a story and a short story, and you will appreciate that Kenyans appreciate what we do, but they also look at the gaps. Last week, in a small hospital, I think it's a, it's a dispensary in Baringo County, a place called Lemining, a mother comes in labor. The nurse said the, baby has a, the, the mother has a big baby, she needs to be referred to a sub county hospital. But there's no, the ambulance takes time. Sometimes people have to pay for that ambulance to arrive. There's, no, there's nothing to test that, for example, a mother with big baby, maybe there's diabetes in it, but they couldn't test because they didn't have facilities. Now this mother progresses into labor very fast, and she delivers with a struggle, a 5.7 kilo baby. For the people who, are, who does those, me, I'm a gynecologist, so 5.7 kilos being delivered in a, health, in a dispensary. After that, the community came celebrating with the health workers the milestone that they have achieved. But you see, to me, that's not something to celebrate. That's something to cry about, isn't it? But the community appreciates the struggles we go through. It showed a failed health system. Because that can be anyone. Any woman can go into labor anywhere, isn't it? So you should be able to get those. And luckily, the measure for quality health care is the availability of maternal health care. So if we cannot, if we, sh so we need to monitor how we take care of our mothers, and you see the mothers are the nation, isn't it? So from here, let's take those numbers and use it. Everywhere you go, where you go, public participation, all of you are opinion leaders in those public participations, isn't you? Mm. we don't have a, a, a level three hospital in our ward. Mm. That is the bare minimum, mm. you can't tell us. Even for the, and I think from here, at the national level, Newton, every presidential candidate must sign this manifesto that they are going to implement it. Yeah, yeah. That should start there. Mm. Every governor must say that they are going to implement this health manifesto. Mm. And that is where we are going to start. The citizen will tell them you, you signed, you haven't implemented. It will be very simple. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tari. Um, I want to also recognize some of our senior colleagues um, from the region, Dr. Ndonga, Dr. Kumu, Dr. Mayo. Uh,